rushed out into the garden and sobbed and sobbed. Oh, no. <laughs> Suddenly, Cinderella heard a voice. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You shall go to the ball, I promise. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, I may be a funny little fat woman, but I have a magic wand and some magic words like these. Salagadoola, mentricaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Now salagadoola means mentricaboola roo. But the thing I'm about that does the job is bibbidi bobbidi boo. Salagadoola, mentricaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh, look what's happening. A wave of the magic wand, and the pumpkin has become a beautiful coach. Major's turned into a coachman. Bruno, a footman. And the mice are now sleek, fat horses. I'll wave the magic wand once more, and... My rags, they've turned into a lovely gown. And on my feet, two glass slippers. Oh, they're Beautiful. But remember, Cinderella, you must be home by midnight, for then the magic spell will be broken and everything will return to the way it was. Oh, I'll remember. Now jump into your coach and away like the wind. At the royal palace, the prince saw at once that Cinderella was the one girl he'd been waiting for. And as the music began, he took her in his arms and they danced together all evening long. And Cinderella's heart was full of happiness. So this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. Suddenly, Cinderella heard the clock striking 12. Oh, I must go. Before the prince could stop her, she ran out of the ballroom and never noticed when she lost one of her glass slippers. Then into her carriage she flew, and away! The clock struck once more. Midnight! And just as my fairy godmother said it would, everything's changed back to the way it was. <laughs> Everything except Cinderella's other glass slipper. This, the godmother let her keep so she would always remember this wonderful night. At the royal palace, the prince found the slipper Cinderella had dropped, and his father, the king, said to the duke, Try this slipper on every girl in the kingdom, and when you find the girl at fits, bring her in. search brought him to Cinderella's house. Priscilla, let me try the slipper on you first. Uh, uh, mm, your foot's much too big. Now you, Anastasia. I'll just make it fit. Uh, uh. Nope, your foot's too big too. And now the Duke was preparing to go. But where was Cinderella? Locked in her room by her stepmother. Please let me out. How can you be so cruel, stepmother? You're afraid the slipper might fit my foot. Oh, please let me out. But then suddenly, Jacques and Gus Gus came up the stairs. We have the key, Cinderella. The key, the key, the key. Cinderella looked through the keyhole. Jacques, Gus Gus, you're bringing it to me. But... Oh. <laughs> Lucifer, where did you come from? Go away. Let the mice bring me the key. But Lucifer stood in the way of the mice. Suddenly, Cinderella had an idea. She ran to the window and called, Bruno! Here, Bruno! And Bruno came dashing to the rescue and chased Lucifer away. 
Now, John and Gus Gus, push the key under the door. Oh, thank you. Now I must hurry before the Duke leaves. Your Grace, please, may I try it on? Stop it. I won't permit it. I'll smash that glass slipper first. Oh, no, no. What have you done? Never mind, Your Grace. I have the other slipper. Here, slip it on my foot. Good, good. It fits perfectly. And that means, Cinderella, you soon will be a princess. The next day, Cinderella and the prince were married. Cinderella was very beautiful and the prince very handsome. And everyone could see they would live happily ever after. No matter how.